Bring in Michael Yee, Managing Director at Jefferies, who covers the biotech sector and has a hold rating on Moderna. Michael, does it make sense to you that we have paired some of the losses in these share prices? Uh, hey, great to be here with you. Uh, to answer your question, yes, I do think that it makes sense. And I think there was a lot of concern and a lot of headline noise yesterday about the idea that we would just break patents uh, for these vaccines. Uh, and as you said, uh, Angela Merkel obviously uh, out staunchly defending uh, those patent rights uh, for these co uh, vaccine companies. So what happens next? D does her, does the fact that she's opposed to it block the move from the U.S. in any way? I mean, can, if, if the U.S. still decides to share the patent, can other countries like India and China get on board with that and try to manufacture them? Yeah, so it's more complicated than that from the standpoint that the WTO organization, which is a group where this idea has been uh, originated and is being pushed forward, uh, has to have a substantial and I think unanimous vote uh, to push that through. There was a hope that the United States would have leverage and try to convince others to go their way, uh, but obviously uh, Germany uh, dis uh, disagrees. By the way, BioNTech, a German company, uh, so we believe that likely the USA is trying to save face, looking good to do their part, or might be trying to negotiate lower prices. Either one of those things, I think, has an impact, but they're not going to be sharing patents, mm -hmm. and I don't think that's going to be the case. Michael, what, what if uh, we did get to the point where the patents w were waived? Uh, a lot in the industry, some people saying last night this, this would ruin innovation uh, in the pharma space forevermore because next time who would step up to the plate to do the innovation? Is, is that a thought process that you think is fair or, or do you think this is quite clearly a one-off circumstance if we got to that point that COVID clearly is so important to the world as a whole and some of these companies have already made uh, a lot of profit while others have already given it away for free? Do you think that the precedent would be seen as a carved out one off or it would ruin innovation forevermore? I think that's the key. Very slippery slope. At what point do you determine that now's a pandemic or next year's not a pandemic or the year after that's not a pandemic? And at what point do you say, well, we did it before. Why not just give it all away and open up the patents and everything's for free? We have so many companies uh, behind Moderna and others that are trying to come up with therapies, pills, injections to try and treat COVID or have vaccines, and at what point do they say, well, why would we be investing billions and billions and billions of dollars, which is what Moderna has, to say, well, don't worry, in 2022, it will all be free. So what's the point? So I do think it's a slippery slope. I do think that, like I said, probably not going to be talking about this in a month. And I do think that uh, there will be significant pushback, and it's not going to happen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.